Hey, this is Will Kenderdine. Um, today's the start date, so I'm excited. I actually have my, my wine kit all set up. I uh, actually have everything uh, in, in place, and I'm looking forward to getting started. So just wanted to give you the, the quick tour just to show you what, how I have everything set up. And uh, so as you can see behind me, I mean, this is my, my closet. And uh, you, you saw in the last video how I had everything downstairs. My wife wasn't entirely too cool with that. So uh, apparently if I get to make a mess, I get to make it in my own office. So I uh, just want to show you here how at the, the bottom of the closet, obviously the closet doesn't have the doors on it anymore. And what I did was I put the, uh, the primary fermentation bucket uh, in the, the bottom of the closet. And you can see this fancy-dancy thing here for, for those of you from, <laughs> from the, the, let me back up just a little bit here, from uh, the northeast region. You can see it's a snow disc. So the reason I have that there is so that if the, the wine bubbles over or whatever, that it, it goes into this, into this thing rather than onto the carpet. Uh, which would cause more tension in the marriage. And I don't usually have a beach chair in, in my office, but the reason I have that there is because, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a, uh, there's a space heater that I have underneath there. And the reason I have the space heater is because we, during the, the day, temperature in the house is generally in the, I think we have the, I think we have the thermostat set to 59. Uh, so that during the day, it's pretty cold, and then uh, midway through the day, temperature goes back up to uh, 67. And, but either of those temperatures aren't warm enough for the, the winemaking. So the reason I have the, uh, the, the beach chair there uh, is because I'm going to be putting a, a blanket over that so that when the space heater is running, uh, to, to keep the temperature um, at about 70 degrees, because at least from, from what I'm told for this particular kit, that it should be anywhere from... Um, 68 to 72 degrees so it's not too far off from where it is during the day it's just that when the heater kicks down it's definitely below that temperature so that's all for this particular round what I'm going to be doing next is uh, mixing up the, the easy clean stuff and getting everything clean so that I can sanitize it and then move on so I'm just going to press the pause button here and get ready to, to clean up and I'll talk to you in a minute